chin. And when I'm sure that that's the case, like in the horns, then we, we level it off and pour it up to the top. Okay, now I have uh, the black, the same, uh, actually it's the black now because I spray painted it black, but it's the, uh, the, the tube, the uh, plumber's piping that went actually into the sculpture. So I sprayed it black because we're, we're talking about, you know, making a presentational piece here. And by casting it right in the plaster, um, then I don't have to worry about drilling it out later and, and, and dealing with it on that level. So this is um, a better way of doing it. Now the molds, uh, the horns are ready to the mold. Those little plugs that we cut out, incidentally, you might want to save those too. And they'll fit back in there perfectly. And there you go. There's a casting of the horn that pulled out really nice. You can see the seam line there. And then we've got those, uh, those little plugs on the back. Now we're going to demold the head. And we're going to you know, put this whole thing together and seam it and make a presentational piece out of it. I'm using the screwdriver again. And uh, naturally, the, the, uh, the back half of the mold is considerably uh, less steep than the front half. So the mold is always going to take the path of least resistance. And uh, in this particular case, it's the back half of the mold. Now, this is great what happened because now we can just flex. Uh, this happens too, that, and the, you, you want this to happen. But now we can just flex that silicone piece off the back there. And... Uh, not worry about you know destroying the sculpture at all so there you go that's how you do that now the front half with a little bit of pressure you know will come out very easily this time and there's our uh, plaster cast